All right, so a friend of mine dropped his uh, VW Caddy off at my place after it started to make some weird squeaking noise, kind of like a belt slipping. It probably was. And uh, so he's driving down the highway, heading home, and all of a sudden it, the squealing ended and uh, the alternator light came on. So he actually told me that on the phone. So I've already ordered the parts I think is required to fix it. So let's see if it starts and just drive it into the garage. All right, so the moment of truth. Um, I haven't even looked under the hood on it yet, so I have no idea. Hopefully, I ordered the uh, the accessory belt and the tensioner for that. That was the parts I ordered. So it started. That's a good sign. I don't know if you can see, but the battery light is on. Fuck. Mm, no biggie. Yep. Battery light and oh, handbrake. Yeah, let's drive into the garage and uh, see if we can fix this. All right, let's pop the hood. See if we can find anything suspicious other than the 1.9 TDI. Yep, I see a loose belt. Alright, let's have a look. Hmm, that's a weird looking alternator pulley. So, I will not be fixing this today. I can see that immediately. You can see the belt down there. All loose. So, so these are the parts I actually ordered. A new belt and a new pulley. But it sure looks like we're gonna need at least a new I don't know, it looks like something might be smashed on the alternator as well see, kinda looks strange I wonder if we will be able to fix it with a new pulley or if the entire shaft is damaged I think I will start by actually removing the alternator and assess the damage, see if a, if a new pulley will solve it. So we'll start by disconnecting the battery. Now when the battery is disconnected, we can remove the connectors on the alternator itself. Mm -hmm. Alright, next we can lose the big wire, it's also 13. Attach the bolt so we don't lose it or the nut. Yep. To lose the alternator, you have two also 13 millimeter nuts holding it. No, it's not nuts. It's bolts. Nuts and bolts. Hopefully, releasing these two is enough to get the whole alternator on the bench. 
so we can more easily assess the damage. Of course. If you don't have enough work, you create some more. Some yourself. All right, let's give it a little pry, see if it will budge. Yeah. It's on there good. I'm almost impressed of how easy it was to remove. So this is a number eight to remove the wiring holder, or what you want to call it. Hopefully this will gain the access needed. Right, it looks kind of mangled. Some spare parts. Wonder if the spline is okay. It sure looks like it's pressed in right here. Let's see if I can give you a better look. Right, you see the compressed area here. It looks like it's dented on the inside, not just an imprint on the outside. And the shaft is all score as well. I think the best way of fixing this will be a used alternator. So this is the part number. Let's see if we can find a new one. So I was doing a bit of research and it looks like the spline and thread, everything that is damaged on this one, is the part is part of the bearing of the alternator pulley itself. So perhaps we will uh, be fine with the new pulley. So it looks like there is a bolt in here. Focus. I'm not sure you can see it in here. Perhaps we will do just fine. Losing that one, removing this. Perhaps this is the inner bearing race, and uh, install a new pulley. Right. So this is the next day. I went ahead and borrowed this alternator pulley tool and supposedly I thought this socket was the one to use but uh, doesn't fit however this bit fits the bolt so this I will be able to use I also got a replacement pulley and luckily this tool fits this one so that's uh, a good thing so 
let's head to the vice and see if we can uh, remove the of the partly <laughs> deformed old pulley right so if I am correct this is supposed to be left threaded bolt I guess we will find out So I googled for a while and apparently I'm wrong, it's a standard right hand thread. My guess is uh, this uh, smaller impact loses too much of uh, its momentum when using a socket and a bit. So I'm gonna go with the, the larger and see if that helps. Right, so apparently I was wrong yet again. And the whole pulley is actually threaded onto the generator shaft. And that is uh, right hand threaded, just like normal. So I really think I will be needing a pipe wrench, but I don't have one. So hopefully this will be enough. Doesn't look promising. Right, attempt number four. Okay. Alright, so the next step will be removing the tensioner and it's attached with two, again, 13 millimeter bolts and they're, <laughs> once you've removed the alternator they're very easy to get to. One down here and another one here. So when the tension is removed, there's a little bit more space to assess the damage done or the, or the potential damage done by the pulley and uh, I really can't see any damage. So it must have, the bearing must have ceased and the pulley immediately fell to the ground. The smart thing to do is to actually the new tensioner is actually preloaded, which makes it a lot easier to attach the belt. The only thing you need to do when it's all fitted along with the belt is to remove this pin, and uh, the pulley will tighten the belt automatically. Otherwise, you have to fit the socket to an extender and pry this in order to make the belt fit. Neat. Right, so I'll attach the GoPro here, so hopefully you see 
a little bit more. So I'll try to align the belt the best I can before attaching the alternator, making it even harder. Right, so that was quite a nightmare. Uh, on the crank pulley, there was so little clearance between the pulley and the and the water pipes, water hard pipes, at the lower part of the engine that I actually had to get under it and pry with a screwdriver to squeeze the belt onto the pulley. So if you encounter that, you <laughs> that will be your main issue. Yeah, let's. Uh, Attach the alternator. Yeah, both bolt caught threads. I'll come back to you when I'm when they're fully seated. First Alright, the moment of truth.
Sounds good. like we have a fix right so it runs perfectly fine however we have a few lights on that weren't here before I replaced this pulley so hopefully it's the kind that goes away after driving for a while so that's what we're gonna find out now so we have this anti-skid warning light and <laughs> picture of a steering wheel perhaps there is uh, some kind of uh, steering angle sensor so let's go for drive and see if it, that fixes it right so strangely enough as soon as i pulled out of the driveway they immediately went away as soon as i rolled forward maybe five meters so that's good So anyway, it seems to run fine. No strange lights, no strange noises. So I think we'll call it a fix. See you in the next one.